begin their countdown for tomorrow's launch, let's cross over to Russia. Russian scientists are preparing to send a dog, Waika, into space. Are you happy to be the first dog in space? Yes, she's happy. <laughs> Aren't you afraid to go into orbit? She said, not at all. Waika is a brave girl. What? A dog in space? Come here. Make sure to send a platypus, poor little creature. Waika was two years old yesterday, folks. Happy birthday, Waika. Little Waika is the Christopher Columbus of the canine world. Even if there is no trees out in space, I'm sure she'll find plenty to do up there. Everyone is going to the moon these days. <laughs> Why don't you go with them? Oh, it must be fun to travel in a spaceship. Yeah, better than a pouch of a kangaroo. Oh, yeah? And Waika has spent six months in space training center. <coughs> huh? Oh. Oh. Uh, really? Uh, sorry, eight months. The training wasn't easy, but Waika passed all the tests. Here we go! <laughs> in Russian. No, she barks exactly the same way dogs bark in Australia. <laughs> of course. It must be a, a sort of international language. Yeah, it's only humans who have trouble communicating. Just about to start countdown for the Russian space launch. Here at the Molotov Space Center, little Waika is nearly ready to be put aboard the Sputnik rocket. Comrade Waika will be the first dog in space. And there she goes now. They are putting her inside the cabin. They are sealing the door. Ready, Comrade Professor. Seven, six, five, four, eight, three, three, oh, yeah. three, two, one, zero. Vika, the Russian space dog, is Whee! away! Sputnik will circle the Earth a hundred times before it returns. Good luck, Vika! And now, folks, we switch to Cape Kennedy with astronaut Buster, the space monkey. Buster, say hello to the viewers. Buster, 
Buster, say a few words to the viewers, will you? <laughs> Sorry, folks. Maybe later. Ooh. Ooh, uh, we have an important news flash from Moscow. Uh-oh, something has gone wrong with Sputnik. It looks like little Wiker is stuck up there till... Well, till someone figures out a way to get her down. Oh, that's terrible. What's going to happen to her? I don't know. Mm, sending a dog into space. They should have sent a kangaroo. But what are we going to do about Wiker? Dot... There's nothing we can do. She's in space, remember? Perhaps Buster's rocket could park alongside the Russian rocket and take Wiker on board. It can't. It's going straight to the moon. Anyway, Buster is a monkey. He couldn't drive a rocket. Oh, if only I could get into the Kennedy Space Station, I might be able to do something. Well, you can't. It's in America. I can take her. Great! I will take you to America. Oh, crazy. Grumble Barnes is absolutely right. It is crazy. It's awful. That's the best friend that we have. Relax. She knows what she's doing. She'll be okay. Here I come. Ready or not. All aboard. <laughs> oh, fooey. Alarm. You can't be too careful. It was scary. It's a lot higher than I thought. You can jump it. Please try. Think of that poor little puppy up there in space. So frightened and alone. for you to jump back over without me. Jump back without you? What do you mean? I have this really good plan to save Wika. Oh, I hope it works. I must do it alone. You wait for me. Mm -hmm. oh, oh. I'll be back with Wika. Please, be careful. Yeah, 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 yeah
Hold on, Buster. Oh, you must be sick of it in here. Not no cage and that silly, boring suit. Same old boring music. <laughs> Wouldn't you just love to get out? Eat some bananas? I can go for a swing in the trees or something? Oh! What about this? you done? Got sick of it at last. Good fella. Now we can both get a bit of rest before the big day, huh? The great moment at last. The first monkey in space. Buster is now approaching Doc. Open the rocket's door. Rocket door open. Buster at rocket door. Good luck, Buster. Here he goes. Buster is now entering the rocket. Uh, good luck, little fellow. Buster inside cockpit and seated. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, six five, five, four, three, two, two one. Launch looks good. Everything is A-OK. -okay. All systems go. Atlanta 5 is on her way to the moon. It looks like this is it. Huh? It stopped! What's happening? <laughs> Impossible. What bad luck. What's going on? Now, let's see. It must be around here somewhere. Ah, here she is. Activate remote control. It works! It works! It works! Is that it? It doesn't. Wyka? Wyka, are you there? Wyka, can you hear me? Are you in there? Can you hear me? Hey, I got him, I got him. Hello, Buster. Can you hear me? Do you hear me? Over. Wyka, are you there? I'm here. I want to save you. I'm safe. I saw you on TV. On the beauty contest? What did you say, Wyka? I'm not Wyker. It's me, Reader. Rita? It's, it's probably English for Wyka. Are you safe? I'm safe, Buster. We are worried about you. Hey, what's going on up there? Buster, is that you, Buster? Be quiet, please. I'm busy. You didn't tell us you could talk. Wyka, are you in that thing? Oh, it's only an old satellite. Lyka's rocket must be further away. It's full of space junk. It's pretty big out there. Oh, I'll never find 
found her. Why, like her? Buster! Buster! Is that you? Uh, come in, Buster! Buster! Where are you? <laughs> oh, there you are. Now, what I want to know is... What? Buster! What's Buster doing here? What's going on? Buster's here. So, who's in the rocket? Oh, it must be her. It must be like her. That's weird. There are flames coming out of the rocket, but it's not moving. The engines are on fire. It's no use. The fire is out of control. What about the dog? We must do something. Destroy the ship. We can't have it drifting around. Up there forever. The fire might go out. No chance. Destroy it. Wait. Give it a few more minutes. Ah, uh, uh, got it. Laika, Laika, come on. We can't wait anymore. The ship will crash down on Earth. Let's ask the computer. You are right. You are right. Just blow it up. Quiet! 
drum approaches. Be quiet. Welcome, our beloved circular leader, Papa Drop. Ruler of the planet, high and mighty, great and gorgeous. Ouch! I know all of that. <laughs> Thank you, compassionate and gentle round one. Sergeant, what do you have to say? Glorious O-shaped leader, what shall I do with these creatures from space? Ugh! Repulsive creatures! <laughs> Makes me ill to be near them. Ooh, looks nasty to me. And ugly. I suppose we'd better measure it. Professor Globus, measure it at once. Yes, high and mighty Papa Drop. What about this thing, sir? <laughs> what is it, Sergeant? Oh, I, I, I think it's some sort of toy. <laughs> mm. Well, throw it away! <coughs> Come here! Holy, leave that thing alone! Give me the details, Professor. Hmm. Oh, 85 minutes. Uh, 32 degrees. Well, Professor Globus? Hmm. One, two, eight point nine. She has one or two round bits, but mostly she is square. Aha! I thought so. What do you say to that, you squarey? She can't talk with that thing on. Rolly, you keep out of this. But father will never... <laughs> Find out who she is, unless she can talk. <laughs> be reasonable. I don't want to be reasonable. I hate being reasonable. Interrogate her. Yes, Your Excellency. Take her away! What is your name? Dot. That's not a name, but your real name. Huh? How old are you? Huh? Who sent you to spy on us? Was your mother a squarey? Was your, was your father a squarey? Admit it, you're a squarey spy. Rubbish! Do you know the party? Who's the party? When was the last time you saw the party? I don't know any the party. Let me go at once. Why are you treating me like a criminal? Because you are a criminal. You are guilty of the horrible, awful crime of being square. Square? I don't know what you're talking about, you, you silly little bubble. Silly little, little bubble? Yeah. Inflato, quick! Inflato! My fellow roundies, tell this ignorant alien what is silly and what is good. Round is good. Hail, Papa. And what is bad? Square is bad. Now do you understand? I still don't know what you're talking about. You must be very stupid then. You are nothing but a disgusting squarey. Throw her in prison. But, hey, what are you doing? Stop it! You're all mad! Open the gate! And here's your tool. Get working! What could it be? I've never seen anything like that before. It probably came from that strange ship that crashed outside town. Keep away. You can't tell with creatures from space. Do you think it can talk? I wouldn't talk to it. You're right. You can never know what kind of creature it is. It's a roundy spy. I bet it's... 
the round is yeah. by. Enough! Enough! Polly, help her. Yes, mother. Come on, darling. Oh, thank you. What's this all about? Who are you? I'm Polly. We're squarries. Squarries? Yes, we're not round enough. Is it so important? The way you look? For us squarries, it's not important at all. But... But what? Once the squarries and the roundies used to live peacefully together on our planet. Then, one day, Papa Drop started to tell the people of Little Nebula that... that round is good and square is bad. Round is good! Square is bad! Papa Drop for president! Round is good! Square is bad! Many roundies supported him, though a few didn't. They laughed at us everywhere. Square! Square! Stand and stare! Can't take them anywhere! And after a while, they started to beat us. It was harder and harder for us. Finally, this Papa Drop abolished the government and made himself dictator. I, Papa Drop, will bring new life to our planet! Hey, Papa! Hey, Papa! Hey, Papa. There will be no new taxes, just lots more of the old ones! We will have a tax on fresh air, we will have a tax on carpet! Hey, Papa! Hey, Papa! And as for poverty! As for poverty! We will set up a $50 million inquiry to look into why the government spends so much! Hail, Papa! And we will set up a standing committee with powers of a recommendation to make sure every roundy has a squarey to mow all their lawns and wash all their cars! Round is good! Hail, is bad! Soon after, when he became a dictator, they divided the roads for squarey's and roundies. Roundies on the left, squarey's on the right. But even this wasn't enough for Papa Drop. Then he constructed special instruments to measure who is square and who is round. This one is fine. To the left. Square, square. He is definitely square. You see? To the right with him. Next. He... He measured everyone. And if you were even a little bit square, they threw you in, into prison. On your feet, squares. You won't get nothing done. Crying all day. Get working. The new one. Polly, show her how to work. Open the gate. Yes, Sergeant. Look, Rolly is here. He brought food for us. Eating time. Stop working. How is Rolly? He's Papa Drop's son. We were going to be married. Rolly and me, but I was a little bit... Square. Poor girl. And now, I'm not even allowed to see him anymore. Oh, look! He has Wyga with him! Rolly is a good fellow. We loved each other so much. <coughs> Those soldiers are eating pili fruit. Pili fruit is good, but we never get in. It's Gorgo!
No talking. I can't understand it. Why does Gorgo destroy Little Nebula so often? If we could work that out, we might be able to stop him. It's such a waste. <laughs> The prisoners repairing houses all the time instead of digging the rocket out. Almost illustrious spherical run. We tried to get the rocket out, but when we started the engine, it drove the rocket further into the sand. Professor, you are a nincompoop. First, dig it out. Then, point it the right way up. Then, start the engine. Ah, magnificent circular leader. Why didn't I think of that? Get on with it. I want that rocket dug out. Then I will conquer all the planets. I will be leader. They need my help. I will control the universe. Father, really, I must protest. I think you're going too far. <laughs> be careful, son. If I hear any more of that kind of traitorous talk, you can go join your precious squares right now. Get the prisoners up to that rocket. I want it dug out immediately. <laughs> it must be so hard for you to have to dig holes. I feel so sorry for you. Thank you, Dot. I must say, it is difficult. Why don't you just run away? Run? Where to? To the mountains. Do you know what's up there? In the mountains? Those lily pilly trees, I suppose. And other kinds of trees. Trees that eat you. And these high cliffs. And quicksand. And volcanoes. And earthquakes. And worst of all, Gorgo. Gorgo? More work and less talk. <laughs> Or I will tell Papa Drop. Bully! That's all you are. A big, fat bully. That's enough. If you didn't have that whip, I'd soon let the air out of you, you pig. But I do have the whip, you alien. You square alien. Get back to work. She is too clever. You had better ask her a few questions tonight. Sure. Who do you spy for? Where do you come from? Is the party your boss? There is the party. Tell us the truth. And you will go free. Is the party your friend? I don't know when he's the party. Who do you work for? There is the party. How long have you known him? Papa Drop approaches. Thank you, fellow roundies. Thank you. How splendid to see so many of you here tonight. I think you're a wonderful audience, and I love you! Thank you! Thank you! And now, before I unveil this latest and greatest solid gold statue of myself, I would like to say a few words. How lucky you are to have a leader like me. And so it is, with great pleasure, that I unveil this row of costly statues of the great me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hail Papa! Hail Papa! Hail Papa! Hail Papa! Thank you. Thank you, fans. Oh, what an audience. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. The party! Get him! Freedom forever! Freedom forever! Freedom forever! Get him! Go on! Catch him! Gotcha! I don't know your royal roundness. What a son! Whenever I want him, he is not here. Whenever the party strikes, Rolly is somewhere else. Ooh! Hey, look there. You can't miss him now. <laughs> your Excellency, look, that is him. 
We have got him this time. He's heading for that statue. You clown! Didn't you see it was a trick? He's probably miles away by now. I am surrounded by fools! It takes a fool to know a fool. My dear Polly, unfortunately, I am not allowed to see you anymore. <coughs> and my father is going more and more crazy. Now, his new crazy idea is to take Dot's rocket and to conquer the universe. I can't stop him. No one can. Polly, I miss you so much. Now go to sleep, you. And tomorrow maybe you will tell us who you really are. <coughs> Did they beat you? No, but they asked me stupid questions about uh, the party. The party? Don't mention even the name if you don't want to get into trouble. Oh, quiet! The guard is coming. <gasps> I have no idea. What are you doing? Don't worry, just wait. Oi, you! Lights out. Uh, in a minute. I want to check something first. I thought all the guards had to be roundies. What do you mean? I am a roundie. Oh, well, if you say so. It's just that, um, in this funny light, you looked a bit square. Look at yourself in the mirror. Stupid aliens. I... Oh, what's happened? Get back there. Back! 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 Oh no! Oh! What are you looking at? What, what do you see? Do you see anything? What, <laughs> did you see? No. You won't tell anyone, will you? No, I won't. Good girl. Now you remember. <laughs> he, he was really worried. <laughs> they're not just worried, they're scared to bits. <laughs> How do you know? When she's upset, she whines in Russian. Waika, what are you doing here? Good girl. Good girl. Dot, look at her collar. What's this? It's for you, Polly. You're so clever, Waika. But now, go back to Roly. You shouldn't be here. Go home, Waika. Go home! It's from Rolly. Oh dear, it's terrible. What? Papa Drops going to use Dot's rocket to go to other worlds. And everyone who isn't round, he'll put in prison. Oh no, he won't. I'll stop him. We can't do anything by ourselves. Only the party can help us. The party? Who is this, the party? He's the leader of the Freedom Fighters. They have a hideout on Gorgo Mountain. I know what I'm gonna do. I'll go and find the party myself. But it's impossible. We are in prison. Fences all around us. You can't escape. The roundies and squarries. Oh, good. Good. Very good. But you have to help me. Huh? Just check to see if the line is straight. Fine. Fine. Uh, uh, keep working. It's straight. Keep working. Faster. 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 Open the gate, soldiers. Bring the paint? Get it yourself now! I can't! I'm a prisoner! I, uh, 
Oh yes, I forgot about that. You're right, you are a prisoner. Give it to me. is deeper than it was before. Look what he has done. Hours of work wasted. Blast him. Father, calm down. It may not have been him. Ah! Inflato! Inflato, quick! I'm coming, I'm coming! Ouch! I have a fool for a son. Who else would try to prevent the great me conquering the universe? Who else would put all the dirt back in? Um... Uh, rabbits? <laughs> there are no rabbits on this planet! Perhaps it was Gorgo. Gorgo is only interested in destroying the town, not playing with sand. It was that scoundrel, the party. And why haven't you caught him yet? What is wrong with you? You know he is on Gorgo Mountain. If truth be known, I'm frightened of the party. Huh? <laughs> Anyway, when I have this thing working, I will fix them both. The party and Gogo. Oh, yes. They'll be sorry they annoyed Papa Drop, much-loved leader of the great Roundy Nation. Oh, shut up, Globus. You make me sick. <laughs> A thousand apologies, most benevolent rotundity. Now get inside that rocket and drive it for me. Reverse it out. Yeah. I'm sorry, almighty spherical one. I don't know how. You imbecile! Go and do it, you clod! You are a professor! Uh, I'm a professor of... <laughs> music. All right, then. Bring her. This little creature. This... this dot. Ah, magnificent circular leader. Well, get going. Bring her. I would. But I can't. She... she... She's run away. She's run away? What? What? <laughs> Find her and throw her in prison tonight! Oh, how can the party live in a place like this? Oh, 
What would I do without you, Wika? find him. What have you found there? More trouble? Oh, I see. You must be hungry. Oh, look! Pilly fruit. We can cook them. There. Hmm. <laughs> Good dog. If the soldiers don't catch and bring back this earth creature, Dot, I'll put all of them in jail. Father, you can't put the entire army in jail. Who'll guard them? <coughs> you will. But don't worry, they will find her. Aha! Uh -huh. I found her! I found her! She came this way, all right. Look! It was her for sure. I found her! I found her! We have to find the girl, not a piece of her dress. Come on! Let's go this way! She couldn't have passed through here. That's what you think. She's pretty clever. Yes, uh, yes, uh, she's uh, very clever. Look at that, soldier, and say, who is clever? You are clever, Sergeant. I know. You don't have to tell me. I can smell cooking, Sergeant. Pilly fruit barbecue. I'm clever, and you are an idiot. Who would be cooking in the desert? Let's go. We must be somewhere here. Hey, even the pilly tree branches smell delicious. Master! The alien! Hurry! There she is. Barbecued pilly fruit. Soldiers! Forward! <laughs> Grab her! Grab her! Oh. What? Hold her! What are you doing? Watch out for the dog! Let go! Tie her! Tie her up! Don't you dare! Oh. Oh. Tie up the dog! Immediately! Go go is behind you. Ah! And now Gorgo will eat her 
and Papa will never learn how to operate the rocket. All right, Sergeant. As always, soldier, as always. <laughs> Gorgo! What is the noise? Gorgo! Did you find something to eat? What is going on there? The party is here! Oh, the party is here! Wow! Can you see him? Sure I can! It is him! The party! I can see him too! Gorgo will eat him! Quiet, you! Gorgo! Where did you find this monster? I'm not a monster! So, what are you? I'm Dot from another planet! Ha ha ha! I am not a child! I don't believe in life on other planets! But I'm from Earth! I arrived on the rocket and I'm stuck here! On the rocket, you say? Yes! On top of the big tube? Inside the tube, actually. It's a spaceship. Oh, now I understand. So tell me everything from the beginning. First, untie me, and then I'll tell you. So... You stupid dopes and cowards. Now, before Gorgo eats them, we have to capture them. Do you understand? No, 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 no. we don't understand. You coward, you'll go to jail if we don't capture them. I ran away from the jail to look for the party so he could help me get back to Earth. But instead, I found Gorgo. Uh oh, and now he's going to eat me? No, no, he won't. You cooked Pilly Tree for him. He loves it. Every year when the pili tree's branches on the roofs of the houses are dry, Gogo goes down to the town to have a feast. Oh. Ouch! Gogo is very friendly. He likes to be coddled. <laughs> How sweet. He loves you too. Will you help me find the party? Oh, it's impossible. Why? Because you have already found him. I am the party. The freedom fighter? And I will help you get back home. But how? Wow! Gogo is a strong boy. Maybe he will be able to shift the rocket. Maybe we should try. Sadden, they want to shift the rocket. Right. Now is the time to attack them. Attention! Half of you to the right. Half of you to the left. Are you okay, Dot? Yes, I'm ready to go. Everybody ready? Yes, Sad. Charge! I said, charge! Faster! Surround them now! Hooray! Hooray! Attack! Together! Uh, uh, One, two, three! Attack! Attack! <laughs> Zapati! Hurry! 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 Zapati! It is me, Moniac! Viva Zapati! Viva Zapati! Hooray, Zapati for president! Hooray! Our leader! Viva! Soldiers! Hooray, Zapati for president! Attack! Is an order! Our oh, the party! Our leader! Okay, soldiers. Let's go home and have a chat with Papa Trump. Let's, Let's go, go home, home with, with President the party! historical day. We celebrate our victory. Our brave army not only captured the monster Gogo, but as you can see, they captured the bandit Zapati and the alien, uh, the girl as well. Our national hero, the sergeant, will be promoted to general. Thank you, Your Excellency. It is very kind. But, but I don't deserve... I, I say you do! Well, I, I don't, actually. I didn't capture them. They captured me. What? What did you say? <laughs> to jail! All of you! Guards! All of them to jail! Lock them immediately! Actually, we came to the conclusion... 
that instead of you putting all of us in prison, it would be better if all of us put you in prison. Open the gates, tear down the fences. Hooray! Hooray! Stop! Stop! I am ordering you to stop! Hooray! Hooray! Listen to me! God, stop them! Well, I will stop them myself! Ah, ah, ah! Put it down. I am not really a professor of music. What? And this isn't really a violin case. Ow! You! You're a traitor! Rolly! Hiding again! Where are you? Rolly! Where are you? Rolly! Quiet, everyone! Rolly is right here! Where? Here! Ah, my own son! Even you are against me! No, I am not, father. It is you who are against us. What? You... Inflato! 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 Yeah, I'm pumping. I'm no. pumping. Look at him. Huh? What? What is this? What is happening? Stop! Stop! Now you can fly away and conquer the planet! He's gone! It was only a bag of wind. Well, that's what happens to all dictators. Because it doesn't matter if you're round or square. You're really all the same. And now, Dot will return to her own planet, where everyone is equal. Ah, oh, thy... I hope so.